What's going on you guys? I'm the Broke Collector here today with a review on Mar the Marvel Legends Retro Spider-Man line Marvel's Hammerhead. Now before we take a look at the package, just want to remind you to hit that subscribe button, hit the like, ring that notification bell so you always stay notified when I post my videos. Now with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. Here's the front of the package, looking pretty cool, it says Marvel's Hammerhead right there. And there's the back of the package. You can see it says blah, whatever it shows whatever it can do. And here's a read up if you want to pause and read it now. And those are the rest of the figures. Now I don't give a shit. Now with that being said, let's take a closer look at the figure. And here is the hammerhead out of the package, looking awesome. Really like how those pinstripes came out. But before we take a look at that, we're gonna take a closer look at his accessories. And here are all of his accessories out of the packaging, looking pretty cool. You know, we're gonna. Look at the baseball bat first that he comes with. This is pretty cool. Don't think we've seen this before. You know. Kind of wish they either went with a um, a silver. But this is alright. That's alright. And then he has his uh, holding hands. So you can get him to hold the bat. Or you can have him hold a gun. Because he should have came with a Tommy gun. And a fisted hand pretty cool and his brass knuckle fisted hand which looks like it says the word head on there and I'll take a close up in just a moment but yeah it looks like it says head on that hand and then here's his other relaxed hand so with that being said let's now take a real close look at the figure itself now let's take a closer look at the hammerhead. So real quickly, we're going to take a closer look at that new head sculpt that we just got. Looks really good. like how it all came out. Really captures the likeness of hammerhead, it's, uh, the character itself. You know, I like how the hair came out. I wish they added a little bit more paint to it, but can't be. Can't be. It's not that big of a deal. I like how uh, it, the, it's all flat, you know. <laughs> The pinstripes came out here really clean too. I mean, I did get where is it? Ah, there it is. Did get a little piece of paint, just random paint right there. But you know, all in all, the paint really came out smooth. Cause I, if you can see it. I don't think you can. But it almost goes through all the way. It goes to the pants to the end of the waist swivel over right here. But. That is about it, you know. There's reusing the Happy Hogan body mold, so really nice. I'm really liking how the pinstripes came out. It's clean, nice and clean. So with that being said, let's go ahead and take some uh, size comparisons. Because I just got him in today, here he is next to the Infinity Saga Surter. This guy is massive. He's huge. I was not expecting him to be that massive in paint and everything. He's just amazing. Possible review on him in the future. Right now I have to think about how I'm going to do it. He uh, stands taller than the review station. <laughs> but he's huge. Here, I'll give you a little peek of what how big he is. Yeah. Uh, now with that being said, let's go ahead and get on to the next size comparison. And here he is next to the last figure I reviewed, Spider-Man 2099. If you haven't seen it, I recommend you go see it. it. It's a pretty good review. I did say that if you picked this figure up beforehand, I would recommend just passing on him. On it, because it's more or less just a repaint. And here he is next to the Spider-Armor Mark 1. You know, so you can get that uh, Spider-Armor versus uh, Hammerhead going on. And here he is next to my custom. Shocker! Have no idea why they just didn't put those stripes on here. It would have been so much better if they had, but they decided to put the stripe, the money towards this guy, so they could have those clean stripes. You know, they just wanted clean stripes on this guy, but they didn't want clean stripes on that guy. And here he is next to his boss, the Kingpin. You know really giving me the animated series vibes you know so you can finally have kingpin getting his getting ready to just kill spider-man and here he is next to nick fury from the kree century build a figure wave liking how these two scale you know you can have him as one of his henchmen so and here he is next to the first 10 years tony stark 
And here he is next to the Peter Parker figure. Looking pretty good, you know. So if you want to, you could just pop off that head and put on a random head, and he could be another henchman. Same with Robert Downey Jr. I mean, uh, Tony Stark. <laughs> but, or you, if you have the uh, Stan Lee, you could just pop off that one, and you can have him gang Peter Parker. You know, you have your options. And here he is next to the superposable Ben Riley, so you can just have him beat the shit out of Ben Riley. You know, just like go hammering away with his head, break his wrist, and then uh, break a few bones. You know. And here he is next to the superposable symbiote Spider-Man. So you can have symbiote Spider-Man beat the crap out of Hammerhead now. And here he is next to the superposable Spider-Man. So you can have uh, Kingpin and the new Hammerhead in the same room. You know, they could be beating the crap out of Peter Parker. Or Peter Parker can be beating the crap out of both of them. You know, I'm really getting the animated series vibes from these. Uh, even though that's a point. <laughs> And here he is next to the Venom figure from the Absorbing Man Builder figure wave. This I like how they scale, you know, so you can have uh, either Venom beat the crap out of Hammerhead or he could be uh, with Hammerhead. And here he's next to the Absolute Carnage. Looking pretty cool, you know. I like it. You can put, um, you can have him beat the crap out of uh, Carnage or try to. Or you can have Carnage just kill Hammerhead because let's be honest, Carnage would just destroy Hammerhead in a fight. And here he is next to the black suit Spider-Man using the pizza Spidey body mold. And here he is next to the Mysterio from the Lizard Build-A-Figure wave. And here he is next to the Jackal from the Sandman Build-A-Figure. And here he is next to the Retro Green Goblin. And here he is next to the Origin Bumblebee from the Buzzworthy Bumblebee line. This figure is amazing and I love it so much. It's a great figure. And here he is next to the Lightning Collection in space Black Ranger. I really like that figure too. It's a, it's nice. Nice addition to the to the Lightning Collection. I like it. And here he is next to the NECA's GMK Godzilla. And he, finally, here he is next to Ben Riley. You know, I love how we have a new Hammerhead, but we still haven't gotten the new Ben Riley yet. You know, come on, where is it? It better be announced to, uh, on Monday. Just a little note. I was filming. This review was filmed before uh, Monday, February 21st. So, so I do not own the chameleon figure from. Ooh, I think it was a Rhino Wave. Don't remember, but well, that's okay because that had the previous head. But that's all right. Doesn't matter. But with that being said, let's go ahead and get into articulation. So he can look up that high, look down that much. Can do a full 360, head tilting there, head tilting there. He's on a dumbbell pin have joint right here. So I'll just pop off the head for you on the dumbbell head. Hit, uh, full 360, Papa Jesus, or uh, T-pose that much. Can do a bicep swivel, double jointed elbows that meet right there. Hands do, all hands do rotate and hinge up and down. It's going to be hard to do the diaphragm, so I'm just going to skip it. But he can kind of lean forward that much with it and lean back a little to none at all with that. Um, waist swivel can do a spread about pretty good. Wow, that is, that is impressive for a suited figure. Uh, can kick forward that much, kick back a tiny bit. Upper thigh cut, double jointed knees that meet right there. Can kick, can, oh, whew. ankles do move down. They do move up slightly, and he does have ankle pivot. And here are my final thoughts on this figure. I want to like it, and I just, I just haven't had that much fun with this figure. I mean, Personally, I haven't had this much fun with it. Maybe in the future I'll have a lot more fun, but right now I'm not enjoying it as much. But I do like the the, the sculpting on it, the paintwork on it is great. I mean, I just wish that the diaphragm pivot or the the actual upper torso could move. But um, all in all, I like the how they use the Happy Hogan body mold versus just a regular chameleon body mold or the uh, Nick Fury body mold. 
And uh, the accessories, that's alright. If only it came with a Tommy gun, I would have loved them. I would have liked it a little more. But it came with a bat instead, which is alright. I also, I mean, this figure is great. I would give it a 7 out of 10. But I just haven't had that much fun with this figure. That and I haven't had enough fun with it for me to just like, oh my god, I love it. Like, it's not like, um, let me just grab one real quick. It's just not like Deadpool, you know? He's loving that book. But, I, I just haven't had that much fun with this. I want to, but it's just not there. But with that being said, thank you for watching this part of the video. Remember to like, share, subscribe, hit that bell notification so you can be notified every time I post a video. And remember... Stay awesome. Also, don't forget to follow me on Chad Jacob Lopez Oof or The Broke Collector on Instagram. Thanks for watching. Stay awesome.